Hello everyone. Today we start chapter two in discrete mathematics course. The basic structures covered in this chapter are sets, functions, sequences, sums, and matrices. We first start with sets. Sets were founded by the German mathematician Georg Cantor. Set theory is the mathematical theory called determined collections called sets of objects that are called members or elements of the set. Set theory forms the basis of several other fields of study like counting theory, relations, graph theory, and finite state machines. In this part of the chapter, we'll discuss the following topics. Definition of sets, types of sets, sets operations, algebra of sets, multisets, and the inclusion exclusion principle. A set is defined as a collection of objects. The objects belonging to the set are called the elements of the set. In most applications, the elements of the set have the same properties. For example, a set of integer numbers, a set of cities, a set of animals, etc. A set can be written explicitly by listing its element using set brackets. For example, the set A equals 1, 2, 3. The set B equals A, B, C, D, etc. If the order of the elements is changed or an element of set is repeated, it does not make any changes in the set. For example, the set A can be written as 2, 3, 1 and the set B as C, D, A, B. And the elements may be repeated. For example, the set A, 1, 1, 2, 3, 3. In some definitions, the set should not contain any repeated elements. Sets are commonly denoted with a capital letter, such as A equals the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, the set B equals A, B, C, etc. The set containing no elements is called the empty set or null set and is denoted by the brackets or by the phi symbol. To show that a particular item is an element of a set, we use the symbol belong. The symbol does not belong shows that a particular item is not an element of a set. For example, if we have the set 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, then 1 belongs to A, but A does not belong to A. Next, equality of sets. Set A is equal to set B, provided the following two conditions are met. Every element of A is an element of B, and every element of B is an element of A. So if you have the set A, 1, 2, 3, 4, and the set B, 3, 4, 2, 1, then these two sets are equal, since every element in A is an element in B, and every element in B is an element in A. It's obvious that equal sets should have the same size. Next representation of a set. Sets can be represented in two ways roster or tabular form and set builder notation. In roster form, the set is represented by listing all the elements comprising it. The elements are enclosed within places and separated by commas. For example, the set of odd numbers less than 10 is 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. In the set builder notation, the set is defined by specifying a property that elements of the set have in common. The set is described in this form. For example, the same set of odd integers less than 10 can be written as follows. A equals X such that X is less than 10 and greater or equal to 1 and X modulus 2 is not equal to 0. Next, some important sets. Phi denotes empty set, 
U universal set, set of all possible values in the area of interest. For example, the set of animals on the earth and the set of natural numbers, zero, one, two, three, etc. Sometimes we use in zero and in one. In the first case, the zero is included, but in the second case, the zero is not included in the set of natural numbers. Z, the set of integers. Z plus the set of positive integers. R, the set of real numbers. R plus the set of positive real numbers. Q, the set of rational numbers. And it's described as B over Q, such that both B and Q belong to Z and Q is not zero. A rational number is the number that can be written in the form B over Q, where B and Q are integers and Q is not equal to zero. For example, one half is a rational number since it can be written as three over two. But the square root of two is not a rational number since it cannot be represented as a ratio of two integer numbers. And also pi is a rational number. I is the set of imaginary numbers. For example, five I, where I is the complex value minus one. C is the set of complex numbers. For example, three plus four I is a complex number. Next, regarding prime numbers. In some literature, the letter B is used, but we have to clarify that this is the set of prime numbers. So we can write equals small b belongs to n such that small b is a prime. Next, cardinality of a set. Cardinality of a set s is the number of elements of the set. The number is also referred as the cardinal number. The cardinality of the set is denoted by n of a or in this form. For example, if the set A equals one, two, four, five, then the cardinality of A equals to four. Or we can write N of A equals to four. If a set has an infinite number of elements, its cardinality is infinity. For example, the cardinality of the set one, two, three, four, etc., is infinity. The cardinality of the empty set equals to zero. Given two sets X and Y, if the cardinality of X is this than or equal to the cardinality of Y, and the cardinality of X is greater than or equal to the cardinality of Y, then the cardinality of X equals to the cardinality of Y. These two sets X and Y are commonly referred as equivalent sets. So if we have the set A equals one, two, three, five, eight, and the set B equals five, six, 10, 11, 15, then these two sets are said to be equivalent since the cardinality of A equals to the cardinality of B. And for example, if they have the set X equals one, two, and the set Y equals three, four, five, six, then we can write that the cardinality of X is this than the cardinality of Y. Next types of sets. Sets can be classified into many types. Empty, finite, infinite, subset, universal set, proper set, singleton set, and others. Empty set or null set contains no elements the cardinality of the empty set equals to zero. A set which contains a different number of elements is called a finite set. For example, if the set A equals to X such that X belongs to N and X is greater than 20 and less than 80, then the set is a finite set. A set which contains infinite number of elements 
is called an infinite set. For example, the set B equals to X such that X belongs to N and X greater than 100, then the set is infinite set. And in this case, the coordinate of B equals infinity. Next subset, a set X is a subset of set Y written in this form. If every element of X is an element of set Y. For example, if we have the set X123 and the set Y1234, then X is a subset of Y. Since every element of X is an element of set Y. Not subset, set A is not a subset of B. For example, if we have A equals 1, 2, 3, and B equals 1, 4, 5, 6, then A is not a subset of B. All the sets are overlap. We have a common element between them, but other elements of A are not contained in B. Next superset, A is a superset of B if set A includes set B. Or A has same elements as B or more. For example, if the set A equals 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, and set B equals 1, 5, 6, then A is a superset of B. Next proper subset or strict subset. A is a subset of B, but A is not equal to B. Or it can be defined as subset of, but not equal to. So a set A is a proper set of set B. If every element of set A is an element of set B, and the cardinality of A is less than the cardinality of B. Suppose, for example, that A equals 1, 2, 5, 6, and B equals 1, 2, then B is a proper subset of A. Since all elements in B are contained in A, and A has at least one element more than B. Next proper superset, or strict superset. A is a superset of B, but B is not equal to A or A has B's elements and more. For example, if A equals 1, 2, 3, 4, and B equals 1, 2, 3, then A is a proper superset of B, since A has B's elements and more. Next singleton set or unit set. Singleton set or unit set contains only one element. And usually it's denoted by the small letter S. For example, if they have the set A equals to X such that X belongs to N and X is less than 20 and greater than 18, then this set has a single element, 19, and its cardinality equals to 1. I already mentioned that if two sets contain the same elements, they are said to be equal. And if two sets have the same cardinality, then they are called equivalent sets. Next, we have two types of sets, disjoint sets and overlapping sets. Two sets, A and B, are called disjoint sets if they do not have even one element in common. For example, the set A, one, two, three, four, and the sets B, 6, 7, 8, 9, are disjoint sets since they do not have any elements in common. Two sets that have at least one common element are called overlapping sets. For example, if the set X equals 1, 2, 5, 6, and the set Y equals 3, 4, 5, 7, then these sets are overlap sets since the element 5 is contained in both sets. Next power set. Power set of a set S 
is the set of all subsets of S, including the empty set. If the cardinality of the set S is N, then the cardinality of a power set is 2 to the power N. And usually power set is denoted by PS. Suppose, for example, that we have the set S, A, B, C. The cardinality of S equals to 3. So the cardinality of the power set equals to 2 to the power 3, which is 8. These subsets are subsets with zero element, the empty set, subsets with one element, A, B, C, subsets with two elements, A, B, A, C, and B, C, and the original set of three elements, A, B, C. The number of these subsets equals to eight. In the same manner, if we have the set A, B, C, D, then the cardinality of B, S equals to two to the power four, which is 16. And these subsets are the empty set, the subsets of a single element, A, B, C, and D, and the subsets of two elements, A, B, A, C, A, D, etc. And you can continue in the same manner. And the last subset is the original one, A, B, C, D. And I leave it as an exercise for you to write down all these subsets and to count their number. It should be 16. Our topic in the next meeting is sets operations. For today, that's all. Thank you.